talking, punk? You're dealing with the Chaotix now. Tell me what you know about Mighty and Ray. <laughs> Vector, a shift in priorities, please. We haven't been here five minutes and we get jumped by the Doc's cronies. Odds are they captured our missing teammates when they came through here. <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> if we don't focus on our attackers, we will be captured next. I promised I'd keep Charmy safe. Fine, fine. We'll do it your way. Hey, guys. Something big is heading our way. Oh. Well, those are new. Uh, we got this, guys. I wish the other Chaotix were here. Hey, we fought bigger than this. We have caught them unawares. Merchian Freedom Fighters, give these Varlicks cause to take flight. Ha-ha! <laughs> Towards visitors, you act unable so thus we cry, away with thee! Oi! Wait with your warbler to take down these goons! Gentlemen, I suggest you retreat, for though I am a man of peace, I'm afraid my compatriots are less restrained. Huh. Pardon me, Freya. Milady. Sweet! More freedom fighters! See? I told you we had this! Oi! Crocagator! How's your bite? As fearsome as my good looks. Ha! I like that, I does. It's going to be weak behind the kneecap. Always nice to start the day kicking a legion, bud. Verily. Well met, fine heroes. I am Bo Sparrow, humble woodsman, and these are my fellow freedom fighters. Where is the Mercian King? I thought he was your leader. Yea, but he has long been away with his wife and child. We fear the worst, and I carry on the king's speech in his memory. We're on the trail of some missing friends, too. We were hoping you could help. Verily. A friend in need art a friend indeed. Who dost thou seekest? We're looking for our friends, Mighty and Ray. Have you seen them? We have, but not in some time. Come. There is much to discuss. Heh, <laughs> this makes me think of our last trip down under. What? Never mind. Apologies for the rustic welcome, friends. Supplies have been lean since Dr. Eggman took hold of these lands again. Drink, sister? Thank you, Book. Tell us, why for do you seek friends Mighty and Ray? Mighty recently learned his long-lost sister was still alive. His... source... didn't have any more details, so he and Ray went searching. They had been sending us letters through their warp ring, but the letters stopped coming, and then the warp ring came back on its own. Their last letter said they were coming here to Mercia, since this is where Mighty was born. We figured we'd start our investigation here. Aye, they did come through my forest. Thanks to the Eggman's presence, they met with a similar welcome. Although, it went differently. He had already won the battle, handedly. <laughs> and lo, the fearsome mighty, and his stalwart buddy Ray, did we wage a mighty battle, and did well within the fray. So once our merry band did try to join them in the ruckus, oh, that was left for us. Was a plenty of fresh cake tuckers and, and a uh, hey, no, 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 Mm-hmm. I think his friends will prefer the shortened, non-musical version. <clears throat> Mayhap, milady. Mayhap. In truth, I feared we would not be well met. For as Mighty told us of his purpose, I confessed the king's ties to his sad history. Twas his father, the last king, who did punish his parents for their crimes most severely. He was the same man to exile Mighty when he displayed his terrible strength. Yeah, he had it rough as a kid. How did he take to your, uh, confession? I feared retribution. But ever do I serve my king, I pledged all my resources to Rob's cause and my life for one ruined. Your friend is of gracious heart and asked only my help. 
What's past is past, he said. Ugh, my ribs do ache still, though. When Dr. Eggman's forces first moved into this land, I spirited away the kingdom's records and censuses and secured them here in Hideaway. I maintained the records as best I could over the years, until my own roboticization. My last records show his sister was in an orphanage until she was roboticized five years ago. It shows she was alive at least. Assuming the roboticization preserved her, she may not have aged since then. So after all the roboticized Mobians were returned to normal, Hmm. Oh, what? You're the super secret ninja spy! Why didn't you know all of this already? Ninjitsu doesn't equal do anything magic. But it should! Ninja charming, ninja magic, whoosh! Oh, Eggman's forces are stationed in the royal castle, correct? If we could sneak in and gain access to the Eggman there, we should be able to find records of which Robians were moved when and where. Verily. Tis what Mighty said himself. Core is a sharp one. Ah, uh, honed to a point off. Dullards like you, I'll wager. <laughs> Shut <laughs> your gob! We planned for a raid the next day. We would provide a distraction whilst Mighty and Ray infiltrated the castle. But the plan fell apart that night. Awake, friend Mighty. <clears throat> huh? What's up? Eggman's minions move upon the forest. No doubt, seeking to burn it all just to find hideaway. I can smell the smoke. With their forces distracted here, you could go to the castle and- No, I'm not leaving your team at a time like this. I'll get Ray. You lead the way. Twas a sight to behold, your friends in step with my own. Stout hearts and bravery in no short supply. And oh, uh, the fires grew, and our foes pressed into the night. Your friends, our allies, courage stuck and steeled them for the fight. With mighty strength of fifty men and young Ray's nimble flight, we struck against the dark clad fiends that horrid cyborg blight. And, and uh, hey, hey, naughty, naughty, <laughs> Munch and I did our part, though twas I who looked the best. Hey! From Bo! A thousand arrows flew, and Thorn fought the rest. Ray and Mighty fought hard and well, heedless of their quest, while those who ran afoul of Friar's traps were found distressed. And the They're just going to keep going, aren't they? Uh-huh. There's no stopping it. At least your friends can carry a tune. And now... This is your chance! Bo did cry to raid the enemy! We will stay and fight this very fight to keep our people free! But Noble Mighty did refuse. Tonight your people need me. With the villains here, Bo explained, no better chance would this be! The kingdom owes a debt to you! Let us provide you cover! Go and find the one you've lost! Rescue, protect, and love her! And into the night our boon friends fled and seized upon this chance! We battled throughout the night and did all we could to stop evil's advance! And a uh, hey, Nani, Nani. So moving, so selfless. That's our boys, all right. And that was the last we saw of them. We thought that with most of the Legion fighting us in the forest, they'd succeeded. And yet they returned the warp ring to you. To keep it from villainous hands, I'll wager. I allowed them to walk right into Lord Hood's clutches. Then why not use the warp ring to escape? No, something else happened to them. We just don't know what. Still, it wouldn't hurt to check the dungeons, right? I bet you got a few friends you'd like rescued. Aye, it is a plan we've been preparing for some time. With more noble friends to help us, this is starting to sound like a raid and rescue plan. I do enjoy the R&R I do. 
If they did get caught, we're not letting our boys get legionized. Where are those planes you were talking about? Right here. Providence saw fit to bring these three among us. The fates can move in mysterious ways, but I think it's clearly time to act. Despite all his new fortifications, Hood has yet to find the secret passage that leads to the heart of the castle. Why haven't you taken them out then? Numbers. Even if we took down Hood today, someone will take his place in a week. We just don't have the forces to take him down and rescue the Legionized. Hideaway has protected many over the years, but too many live in the open. Lord Hood raids them often, stockpiling prisoners to join his army. The poor souls have no choice but to serve him. Then we'll rescue them. And while we're inside doing the hero thing, we access the Eggnet for data. Either we rescue Mighty and Ray with the others, or we find out where they went next. Booyah! We weren't seen. Verily. May the rest of the evening go so smoothly. Tell me, where is Hideaway? It's... it's... no... no. The location of Hideaway. Now. In... in... Deerwood. Forest. This whole blasted country is covered in the forest. Lord Hood. The Freedom Fighters have breached the Outer Wall and are taking the Inner Passage to the heart of the castle. Finally, I felt like an idiot leaving that avenue open this long just to make a simple trap. You instructed us to wait, sir. Should I sound the alarm now? Not just yet. Let them get well within our defenses. They want so badly into my dungeon. Let them come. We'll just ensure they never leave. Flex, you are my kind of guy. How did we live without you? You know me, boss. Just earning my keep while I'm looking for answers. Looks like this is where we split up. We'll find the computer room. Aye, and we'll head to the dungeons and on. Happy hunting. Huh? <laughs> really wish I had Mighty or Nux here right now. I found a switch! I'll see if there's another switch. There's no point. Lord Hood knows we're here. His force is meant to trap us here. We'll take the warp ring back and... Do what? Wait for another opportunity? This is the furthest we've made it into the castle in months. The road may be treacherous. I shall not fear. Second gate's open! The enemy can monitor our movements. Yet he springs a cage trap instead of a death trap. Bo, can you visualize the dungeons? Verily, tis where my king and mentor found and freed me. Good. Vector, give him the warp ring. Bo, take your team and begin preparing the prisoners for escape. You sure about this? I thought we didn't want to use it here at the risk of losing it to Eggman's goons. The old plan fell apart the minute they trapped us in here. This is a new plan. It better be a good plan, and not you running off to join the bad guys again. Okay, we need to get moving. Just think of where you want to go and give it a talk. Bye! Good luck! Now we continue with our mission, as loud as possible. I get where this is going. Let's find that computer room, boys! All right! Hands where we can say them! Lord Hood wants... You saw it open by itself too, right? The last thing this lousy job needs is ghost <laughs> hunting the... Ghost! And crocodiles in the sewers! Ah! 
quickly and quietly all. Our lack of interruption must be thanks to our boon companions. I've taken a quick census. Our king, his family, and the Chaotic's friends are not among the prisoners. Dang it! I hope the Chaotic's can find something then. Careful. Your king's speech is slipping. Oh. <clears throat> Cry your pardon. Thank you. Praise the Thank walkers. you. Where's the king? For pity's sake, there's only three of them. Stop them! And where is Bo and his band of idiots? How did they slip away? Lord Hood, the Eggnet says that the gold portal you saw was most likely a warp ring, a kind of magical teleporter. A teleporter? Get troops to the dungeons, now! Nope, not in here. Anybody found the computer room? Victor! If you ask that one more time, I'll... You said be loud! I found it! It had some bad guys, but I took care of that. Excellent work. I'll try to access the Eggnet. You two seal the doors. Uh... Incoming! Looks like we'll just have to seal it the old-fashioned way. This doesn't seem much like sealing. The point is... They're not getting through! Oh, I wish you were here right now, Nicole. I could use your help. Behind you! Huh. Their password is password. Amateurs. Now to find. Uh-oh. Vector, charming! You're needed elsewhere! Well, you have my thanks, Sparrow. When your cowardly woodsman who would be king ran away, I feared I'd never get to crush an idiot archer beneath my heel. He is no coward! Not even Eggman would target the king's son as you did. For one of his pet despots, thou art the basest. And you're still talking like him. Delightful. Take your shot. You've only missed me seven times. If at first thou dost not succeed. And that makes eight. Buck, lead the escape. We will cover you. Not so fast. Lord Hood! They have the warp ring! Got it! In the deepest, darkest cells, the flame of hope shone bright. Their spirits never truly broken, rose up to join the fight. Oi, you warbling nitwit! We're fighting for our lives here! Amid the desperation of one man brought such levity, which in truth was just a front, for he knew the situation's gravity. And I hey. Nanny! Nanny! Hmm. The Chaotics were right to be cautious. We cannot let Hood get his hands on something like this. Then we push back through the sewers, if we can use the warp ring again safely. What? Easy, my lord. We're getting you out of here. No. We'll not lose. Not to them. On your knees! For two generations of kings, I've tried to bring order to this land. Passed up, ignored, the populace never put it in its proper place. You couldn't save your king. You can't save these people. You can't even save yourself. Won't need to. How could you possibly hope to escape this? Surprise, sucker! Oh, thy timing is impeccable. We're pretty good at this hero thing. Time to go, folks! Everyone has been freed. Help each other to the main gate. Summon the last of your courage and strength, brothers and sisters. Do yourself a favor and stay down. Get everyone out of here and head for the outer wall. The outer wall? Through the main courtyard? We'll be completely prone. I don't get it either, but Espio said he had a plan. And it'll be good. Hopefully. Most likely. Come on. Come on. 
Load faster. Yes. A young armadillo girl, matching the research I did earlier. Let's see. She was roboticized. She was sent as part of the forces attacking a place called Sandblast City. Now there's an Eggman Empire base in the Badlands nearby. After being de-roboticized, she must have been recaptured and legionized instead. Better yet, it shows files were accessed from the terminal recently. Which means Mighty was here. We found his trail! Research on Mighty's sister and the missing Mercian King is complete. Fake orders have been sent and not corrected, so that means Vector did his job. Now, to make the way out. I'm sick of guarding this thing. And I'm sick of you whining! It's just a gate switch. Which does what, genius? Opens the gate? Which would let people do what? Get out? Right! So shut up and stand guard! But we know Lord Hood's gonna catch the Freedom Fighters. He's had this trap planned for a while. Did you get a command to move? No. No! So shut up and do your job! Didn't I tell you he had a plan? And I was a villain forever doubting. Keep up the pace. We're almost there. Whew. We made it this far, but we'd still have to get through the next gate and all the way into the forest. I know. And the entire goon force has been ordered to stand just outside this wall. What? There's no way we can take all of those killer robots. I know. Bo, is that everyone? Yay, verily. Then close the gate. This was your plan? Now we got their heavy forces all outside one wall and all the ground troops at the other gate. Now what? Now, warp ring. Right this way, friends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A direct shot to hideaway and freedom! <laughs> you know, I keep forgetting how handy that thing is. Don't worry about it. Ask Meckles about the time he was once in a death trap and forgot to use it. His face turns as red as his fur. <laughs> Stop them! After them, you incompetent fools! Your hospitality has been as gracious as ever, my lord. Fare thee well. Well, that's everyone. Back safe and sound. Did you find anything useful, Mr. Big Plan Maker? I did. I know where to look for Mighty and Rain next. And I'm confident we will find them this time. Yes! We owe you a debt of honor, dear friend. Though, if I may ask one more thing of you, perchance, didst thou find any news of our wayward king? Eggman's forces have no idea where he or his wife and child are. They lost the trail on Never Lake. That tells me the king and his family are on the move and being smart. I'm sure they're planning something. Ah, then that means they... Nay, never you mind. Tis bittersweet news, but taken gladly. Thank you again. And you. Maybe once the tyrants are driven out, they can return. May it be soon. Please, take your rest for the night. I must attend to my people, but make yourselves at home. Nah, this is everybody's victory. Come on, Granny. You and your people deserve a proper welcome home party! Why did you warp us so far from the city? Because the Sand Blasters have a bad reputation. The fewer who see us using the Warp Ring, the better. And it gives Vector a chance to wake up. What can I say? They know how to party in Mercia! Anyway, relax! We're going to meet more Freedom Fighters. They can't be all that bad. Well, according to Sonic... Eh, he picks a fight with everyone. You trust Nuts, don't you? Hey! Ah! What have we here? More ingrates getting lost on their way to join the Baron? How about you tell me what you're doing in my territory? You've got 30 seconds. Then we beat it out of you. We didn't come here looking for trouble. Well, ain't that a shame. Cause you found plenty. Listen, 
All we're doing is looking for a friend of ours. You just answer a few questions and nobody gets hurt. Oh, now that is hilarious. <laughs> Take him. Oh, help! Try me! I'm very much appreciative for the distraction, Avery. Not bad, but I've thrown down with the best. Yeah, you ain't half bad. Ain't half good either, huh? Now how about you give up before I give in to my itchy trigger finger? Well, this is embarrassing. All the jerks and bad nicks we fought, and these jokers take us down like nothing. There, there. You lose a lot anyway, so nobody will notice. Thanks, Charmy. Perhaps we would have been more successful if some of us weren't up all night partying. I can't not party. Besides, you're up later than me. N not my point. Zip it, new blood, and listen up. Round here, there are two types of Mobians. One kind joins the Sand Blasters and contributes. We bury what's left of the other kind out in the desert. Life can be fruitful for new recruits. Take these guys, for example. Hey, Flex, what? Jitters, mm -hmm. get over here. It's you. We finally found you. Ah, oh, man, we were so worried about mm -hmm. you, my... Mm -hmm. Zip it, Leatherface. What? When I want you to say something, I'll tell you. You know these guys? <sighs> yeah, they're my old gang. I left them behind to try something new, but it looks like they managed to track me down. They're loyal. Stupid, but loyal. <laughs> You're a man after my own heart, Flex. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Look, let me take them back to my place and get them in line. They may follow me, but I follow you. I just need a little time to beat the pecking order into them. They're all yours, Flex. Knock yourself out. Or them. <laughs> you okay, Vec? I'm sorry if I was too rough with you. <laughs> nah. Barely. Barely felt it. Yay! You're not really a mean jerk. Sorry for the scare, Charmy. But why are you guys here? You came this close to blowing my cover. How were we to know? The letter stopped coming and then you sent us the warp ring. We were worried something happened to you. We never had a chance to, to stop by Angel Island first. Okay, okay. You're here now, and that's what counts. I bought us some time so I can fill you in on what happened. How did you guys pick up my trail? We followed your last letter. From there, Bo and his team told us what they knew. Cool. The night I left them, I managed to get access to the Eggman. I mean the password. Was password, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still haven't changed it? Uh, anyway, with the help of Buck's notes, I figured out my sister had been stationed in this region as a Robian worker. Since all those former Robians were now serving Eggman, I needed a way to investigate them safely. I heard from Sonic that the Sandblasters were bad news, but I couldn't just walk up to Eggman's forces either. So we joined the Sandblasters under new identities. It was our safest option. Through them, I began getting a better idea of the boundaries, how this local chapter works, and getting my lay of the land. But why send this back to us? I couldn't risk getting caught using it. Jack and his thugs are sick people, and I did not want them getting the warp ring. You couldn't just pop over and explain. Do you know how to open a giant, glowing, noisy, room-sized gateway covertly? I did the best I could, man. Or did you think I'd really join the Sandblasters? Are you gonna hold that against me like Espio's whole Four Houses thing? Or like you do with- That's different. They chose their allegiances. And I chose to leave. Yeah, but- Hmm. <sighs> yeah, okay. So maybe I hold grudges. Sometimes. But now we're here, and we've got your back. All of us. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Vec. Anyway, now that we found you, the Chaotix are officially together again. Except, you know, Knuckles and the others. But you get what I mean. I get you. What was the next step in your plan to find your sister? 
The Baron. He's the leader of the local chapter of the Eggman army. So your timing turns out to be perfect. I can trust you guys to look after Ray while I go meet with him. Nah! Ah! You can't leave again! We just found you! And you just said you couldn't simply walk up to those guys! Going off what I've heard, and seeing how this chapter operates, I'm pretty sure the Baron is a reasonable man. Or, at least, if he's talking to me instead of an entire team of Sandblaster lunatics. No! Let me help! Sorry, little buddy. I can't risk losing any more family on this. Besides, if this does blow up in my face, I know I can count on you guys to have my back. All clear. I'll scout ahead. Thanks. You do not want to get caught breaking curfew here. Bye for now, guys. I won't let all your searching be in vain. I guess this is finally it. I'd have thought I'd be over this by now. I don't like it either, kid. But it's mighty. It'll be okay. No, it's just that Mighty's the only family I've ever had. When he gets his real sister back, will he even need me as a brother? Whoa, whoa, whoa! (laughs) Calm down, kid! (laughs) Of course you will! Didn't you hear what he said earlier? You're family to him! Yeah! Mighty would never forget about you or anyone. Don't worry about losing a brother. You're about to gain a sister! Yeah! Provided his plan works. It's that new armadillo sandblaster, sir. He's alone and seems to be surrendering. He bench pressing tanks and he's given up? That sounds like Jack's sort of humor. Mobilize and take him down! Well, I guess it was naive to think it might go smoothly. <clears throat> Come on, you've got to be in here somewhere. Why do- Evening. I was hoping you would capture me now. I don't- Whatever you say. I appreciate you not shackling me, Baron Rabot. I've seen you in action, boy. They wouldn't have done no good anyhow. You show up out of nowhere and give Jack Rabbit more muscle than all of Sandblast City combined. You make a joke out of my chapter, and now you're surrendering to me? Start making some sense out of this, son, cause I don't see any- My name is Mighty. I'm from the Chaotix Freedom Fighter Group. When I was very little, I lost my baby sister. I traveled half the world and infiltrated the Sandblasters to track her down. I heard you were a fair and decent man, Baron. All I'm asking you is, do you have my sister? Oh my stars! Could you really be... Someone fetch me Matilda! Really? You really have? It is late, Baron. Is something the matter? Tilly! Huh? Mm, Baron, who is this? Your brother, dear. He wants to know where you've been all this time. Brother, I have no family. I grew up in an orphanage. I was told my family were criminals, executed or exiled. I had food and shelter there, little else. Years passed. I was alone. The doctor attacked, and I was roboticized. I was moved around. I worked. I fought. Then one day, I was not a robot anymore. Robot or not, the Sandblasters cast us out. The Baron looked after me. I was legionized. Now I work for the Doctor again. That is all. I'm... I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. I was exiled for trying to... Oh, it's a long story, but I'm here now and we can... I'm sorry. But I do not remember you. You mean nothing to me. May I turn in for the night, Baron? Yes, Matilda. You're dismissed. Thank you. Good night. I'm sorry, son. A childhood spent alone as a robot and as a slave has left her, well, distant. I'd hoped you might (laughs) crack that shell she's got around her heart, but... (sighs) 
<gülüyor> On your feet, sir. Is she... Is she happy here? As happy as any of us can be. But we've got good folks in this chapter. We're like one big family in a sense. I've made a point of looking after the little ones like her. <gülüyor> Thank you. Now listen here. Forget all that chaotic nonsense you heard. This is just another sandblaster telling just another lie. Dr. Regman does not need to be bothered by tonight's events. Am I understood? Yes, Baron. I'm truly sorry for you. I sympathize with your plot more than you know. But having you here puts us all in a lot of trouble. If Eggman knew you were here, or who Matilda I was... Understand. I'll send word to Jack I want to do a prisoner exchange. I'm sure you've got your escape planned once you get back to the city. Until then, you've got to stay in the brig to keep up appearances. Good night, sir. <laughs> to flex! Spill it, Jitters! You're always with him! So how did this happen? I... 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 Don't... Today! Take it easy. The boss wanted a shot at the Baron himself. Is that so? Yes. Alone. He said if he lost, the three of us were an even trade. <laughs> like you three can measure up to flex. Crazy jerk. I like him, but that's still out of line. You'll do for now. You can be on the front lines today. Sure, uh, boss. But what about Flex? What happened? He got captured, the moron. Now the Baron wants to do a prisoner exchange, and he knows Flex is worth a lot to me. Do you have anyone to exchange? Of course I do. You take down those pajama-wearing freaks by the dozen. And now, to get Flex back, I'm gonna have to release him just as fast. We've done this a few times before. Everyone shows up, we say some nasty words to each other, prisoners cross over, and everyone goes home. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, but I think Flex had the right idea. This time, we're not giving anybody up, and the Baron isn't going back alive. Fancy driver there, boys! Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, this is no way to behave before a prisoner exchange. You mean ambush of Eggman's troops? Ugh, all that swerving is making me ill. Keep up, boys. We need y'all to get Flex back in one piece. Till then, stick to the plan and do what I say. Sure thing, boss. We've got to d d do something. If, if Jack finds out Mighty was lying and using him to find his sister... I know, I know. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll stay undercover for now. But if things get bad, when they get bad, we'll grab Mighty and his sis, then take the warp ring back to Angel Island. Jack and his thugs can fend for themselves. Woo! Undercover escape plan. Front and center, Mr. Flex. Is that thing for me? I'm afraid so, and that I must insist. If we're to preserve your cover, we've got to put on a show. Jack knows no puny handcuffs can hold you. Fuck up, son. We'll trade you back to Jack's gang, then you can escape home. Without Matilda, all my searching and struggling was for her. To give her the family she never had. To give her peace and a little bit of happiness. I sympathize more than you know. The Sandblasters are here, Baron. Good. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Send out the prisoners. Let's keep this civil like before, Jack. You line up yours, I'll line up mine, and we cross them nice and easy. This time's different, old man. I want Flex. Send him over first. And risk him tearing this whole carrier in half? No, sir. We do the trade, then I drop him off in this here ring, and we part ways. That's it. No demands. That's awful generous. What's the catch? Catching your best and having you beg him back is payment enough for me. God, why, you smug. And now! It's a setup! This is low. 
Even for you, Jack. Fire all cannons! All troops at the front line! Check your fire! Some of the rooms are ours! This is the part where things get bad, right? Right. We get our boy, grab his sister, and get out! Keep it quick and simple, Chaotix! Chaotix? Hang on, Mighty! We're coming! Mighty? Why are they calling him? They are one of them famous freedom fighter teams. They've been lying to our faces since day one. Run! Them! Damn! Behind us! Uh, 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 that all you've got? No, oh, this isn't quick or simple. Somebody get mighty over here! Already covered! Ray's on his way! Hmm! Let me loose! I can help! You think Jack will ever let you go if your cover's blown? It's blown. Look, even if Matilda's rejected me, don't leave me hanging here to watch her get attacked. Let him go now! Ray? You're supposed to be somewhere safe. You will not threaten the Baron. Ray! Tilly! Stop it! Hold on, hold on! Children shouldn't be fighting like this! Tilly? Y you're his sister? So he says. The Baron agrees. I suppose it's true then. Then let's go! We'll rescue your brother, and we'll all go home! I have no home. I have no feelings for this brother. Do what you want, but leave me alone. She... She doesn't remember much of anything. She was roboticized. Too young. And... No! Do you know how long he looked for you? How much it hurt him to th think you were dead and gone forever? D you may not remember him, but he remembers you! He loves you! I, I was lost too. D didn't age right, a and with no one left to, to call family. M M Mighty took me in, and, and thanks to him, I I've got a life now. And he, he, he wants the same for you! You don't remember him? So what? You remember being alone, right? S scared? He won't ever leave you alone like that again. H how could you not want that? He, he <laughs> will always be there for you. Like he's he's always there for m m me. It's beautiful. What side? Coming through! Uh -huh. Nice distraction, kid. Uh -huh. Enemies are one thing, but Jack hates traitors. That's the La Vista flex. You're about to get some respect get around here. From uh -huh. my brother! Hmm? Ugh, that tears it. Murphy, you still running? Sure I am, boss. Firing at will. New orders. Fire on Flex and the Baron. Flex? And I see kids up there. I said! Fire! You'll regret! M Matilda needs you! Tilly? Battling against freedom fighters? Hanging out with Eggman's flunkies? So... Weird. No crack about my allegiances? Uh, not the time. We're finished. And? How is she? We've done all we can for her. <laughs> huh? How do you feel? Okay. Weak. Are you safe? Yeah. Thanks to you. <sighs> Good. I... I don't want to lose my brother again. 
You've got more than one. Ray, get over here. Told you so. Uh, get over there, kid. Tilly, this is Ray. Welcome back to the family. Hi, Matilda. I I, I always w wondered what it'd be like to have a sister. <laughs> Hello, Ray. Thank you for making me see. I'm happy to have such good brothers. <clears throat> As I was saying, we've done all we can for her for now. She'll need a new arm, which needs balancing and calibrating. There's systematic damage that will take care, precision, and tools we only have here. What? W what are you saying? Matilda needs to stay here with us, and for everyone's safety, you have to go. I'm so sorry, darling. I... I understand. I... I can put on a robe! Take on another name! Don't make me lose her again! That kind of ruse won't last and you know it. You're not losing her, son. We'll take care of her here. And you can always visit. Carefully. And don't forget! You got us too, big guy! The Chaotics take care of their own! Yeah. You found me. Helped me. Thanks, guys. This isn't goodbye. I promise you. We will be together. I... believe you. I look forward to it, big brother. Come on, Marty! Let's get back to the island! The Master Emerald is gonna guard itself! Alright. You've got a fine family, Matilda. We'll get you healed up and back to them as soon as we can. Thank you, Baron. Well, think nothing of it, sweetheart. If there's anything I know, it's the pain of a family divided.